Elsa Alejandro, and she's from the Canary Islands, Spain. Mi nombre es Elsa Alejandro Perdomo. The subject matter in this particular is uh, mirages. She's dealing with uh, the various uh, uh, various things and what's behind uh, what you see. Yeah, an artist uh, uh, for her means everything. In, in many years she has worked uh, as an artist and she has experienced uh, many aspects of art, you know, of the art. She has uh, studied art in, uh, in Las Palmas, Spain and in, also in uh, Barcelona, Spain. And then she became a, she became a professor of, uh, of art. She continues to this day to be a teacher. She teaches uh, kids from 13 to 18 years of age. Al mismo tiempo realizó también actividades en el centro relacionadas con el arte. So she continues to uh, you know decorate and, uh, and make art with the children uh, in, in the school and uh, you know to do shows for them and so on and so forth. She has, uh, throughout the years, she has exhibited in uh, many galleries in uh, many countries, and uh, but the one where she has come the most has been to New York at uh, Jedi Galleries. The, this particular uh, work of art, as she mentioned before, it means uh, mirages. It doesn't really has to do with the reality of what you see. This particular piece uh, that is uh, done by uh, Toulouse, she changes things. And that's the title of Mirages, is that really when, uh, on the top of the head is a pencil sharpener. The, the hat is represented by the wood of the pencil uh, coming down. So uh, even though it looks like a face, it, it represents other things. First to this uh, face of this aristocrat that she painted there. Lo que más me llamó la atención What really uh, caught her attention was the face, the thematic uh, face, and, uh, and that's what she's painting on. Because the face caught her attention, uh, I call, call upon her. Then that's why she added a telephone on top of the head and the dials uh, to dial uh, the numbers. The dress that she used to change the, uh, the, the coat uh, of the uh, aristocrat and uh, she made it like a, a, a butterfly, a flight of a butterfly because uh, that's what uh, you know, it seemed to her, uh, flying. Fantasiosa, muy señorial. The most important thing all is to realize a work of art. No siempre. No always has a coherent uh, explanation. Sometimes there are perceptions that one, one art, you know, the artist perceives. Como ejemplo de lo que estoy comentando es esto. En plan cómic. It's reference to the uh, 60s, in the year 60s. In what any uh, familiar object, it could be converted in another one, uh, a better one. We come to the conclusion that anything could be art. Based in that theory, we could uh, substitute a tablecloth for, un de arte. for uh, an object of art. De esa forma, in that uh, form, temas sociales, uh, different social uh, uh, facts podría tener cabida that could have a, a opening in, in uh, everyday objects.